think Bach team teaches kids when they start at an early age? Character. Discipline. And I think that takes you a long way. If you can build character and you can build discipline, you can do anything in this life. Daniel Roman, and this is Under the Ham Wraps. I don't feel that I get the respect that I deserve as a unified champion. I think I've proven myself uh, going to Japan, winning the world title, doing my first defense over there, and uh, this last fight uh, against TJ Doheny, you know, and um, I fought the best in my division. That, that should say something. Well, I think Danny's such a quiet individual, and he's not a social media type of person, uh, that people don't pay that much attention to him. Now these days, it's all about having scandals. He's not active on social media, so he doesn't get that profile built of people just talking about him. And that's the era that we live in. If you're not on social media, people aren't buying into your brand. If you're not on social media, the networks don't want to put you on. If you don't have a social media presence, the promoters don't want to pay you as much. The diehards will always be the diehards, and they're going to follow the fighter no matter what. But if you want to tap into that casual market, you got to have a social media presence, Twitter, Instagram, whatever it is. And Daniel Roman, he's a humble guy. I mean, it's, it's been shown that uh, people like drama, you know, people like entertainment and doing the right thing. And uh, I mean, it's been, it's been good for me. It's been helping for me doing the right thing and staying in the right path. Not a lot of people know me because I don't talk a lot or, or be cursing at people. So so in a way it helps you, in a way it, it doesn't. I believe it hurts them somehow. I've always told them, Danny, you need to learn how to express yourself a little bit better, uh, you know, and challenge people in, in a different way than just being such a gentleman. He believes in God, he prays, reads his Bible, and he fights. He's everything that every fan should aspire to be or to look up to. He is the example of how a man conducts and carries himself throughout the world. And yet, we live in an era where scandalous talk, scandalous events, arrests, things that aren't good for the culture or community of anybody is what is paraded around as being great and nothing could be further from the truth. I grew up in uh, Inglewood. It wasn't a friendly city. Um, There's always uh, something going on either gang members, uh, always uh, drive-bys, a lot of crazy people, you know. Got good memories, bad memories, both of them, you know. I had to overcome all that, you know. I got to push uh, all the negativity away and uh, try to look for the best for me. But that got me into the sport, and uh, I think that uh, that helped me get some, uh, set my life straight, get some discipline and like uh, stay away from all that stuff because I was too busy with boxing. Danny's always been a mature person since he was eight, nine years old. I've been able to speak to him as a, an adult, not as a kid, since he was uh, that, that little.
you have a guy like Daniel Roman who was brought in as an opponent on Showbox against Lopez and completely annihilates the guy. You know, we were supposed to lose against uh, Adam Lopez. We gave him the beating of his life. The kid was not the same. We went to Japan and won the world title. Nobody gave us a chance. Danny beat him up pretty bad, okay? He hasn't been the same. We went against uh, Ryo Matsumoto in the title defense in Japan. The guy hasn't won since then either. He hasn't been the same. We, we beat up on uh, Moises Flores. And he keeps winning. He's got losses on his record from early on in his career, so people automatically write him off. Well, then we went against Gavin McDonald. McDonald, you can ask him if he punches hard or not. And then, you know, we, we fought T.J. Doheny, and you saw what he did. Then he punches plenty. I think the only people that know how hard Danny can fight or he can punch is his opponents. He's a good opponent. He's Mexican. He's durable. Those are the trademarks of where Daniel Roman comes from.